Winston Churchill is famous for being the Prime Minister of England from 1940 to 1945 during World War II, and less so for the same job from 1951 through 55. This video will mainly be about Churchill's escape from Transvaal in 1900. Transvaal was one of the three Boer states in present-day South Africa. The Boers, also known as the Voortrekkers, were Dutch-speaking white Protestants of the northeast of what is now South Africa. The three republics were the Transvaal, the Orange Free State, and the Natalia Republic. They were formed after the United Kingdom took over the Cape Colony from the Dutch. The Voortrekkers left the colony in 1834 to form the three republics because of strong tensions between the British and themselves. This was partly caused by the British abolishment of slavery that same year. The Boer War of 1899 through 1902, which is actually the second Boer War, was fought between the British and Transvaal and the Orange Free State. Natalia had been taken over already by the British in 1843 and had become the colony of Natal. The war began because of the resources of South Africa. There was much gold and diamonds to be had. The Boer republics, especially Transvaal, did not have the people to effectively extract them. Eventually, British aggressiveness led to the Transvaal declaring war. Churchill was very supportive of this war and he had served in two other British wars in Sudan. Watch my video on, on, on Dermot, a famous battle in it. Churchill was in the 21st Lancers during their charge in the battle. And in Northern India, in addition to being a war correspondent in the 1898 Spanish-American War. However, Churchill had recently quit the military in, uh, in order to enter poli politics. However, he had lost his first parliamentary election, which was for Oldham, so he lobbied to go to war in South Africa as a war correspondent. But in order to be a war correspondent, one must have a war. This is part of why Churchill was so supportive of the war. At this time, Churchill was 26. When war finally broke out, he went to South Africa. The Boers were having great initial successes. They had taken siege of Ladysmith. Churchill was stationed nearby Estcourt and was sent in in a armored train along with many other officers and soldiers in order to perform reconnaissance. This was a very stupid idea. The train track went through the African Karoo, which was a semi-desert and had many, many places for the Boers to hide. In addition, the train was almost not armored at all. All it had was an ineffective gun on top and metal sheets bolted to the side. It was a very obvious target, incapable of stopping shells or shooting back, and was practically inviting someone to attack it. So, obviously, this is what happened. The attacking Boers were led by Louis Botha, who was a prominent Boer. Churchill would not have been captured because he was not a combatant. However, he still fired, so he was captured. He was taken capture at Freer, which is the red dot with the blue arrow pointing at it. He was then taken to Pretoria, the capital of the Transvaal. The prisoner of war route that Churchill went on is in red. Churchill tried over and over again to get the Boers to release him on the basis that he was a journalist, but this didn't work for reasons above. Eventually, Churchill managed to escape. He went east and traveled by jumping on trains heading east to Lorenzo Marques, the capital of Portuguese East Africa. His route is in blue. Lorenzo Marques is now known as Maputo and is on the easternmost part of the blue route. Churchill had help from English folks in the Whitbank in Transvaal, who were working the Transvaal and Delagoa Bay Colliery. Churchill went immediately to the English embassy in Lorenzo Marques and requested passage back to English territory. After he returned to English territory, he re-enlisted into the army and became one of the first to enter Pretoria. He released all the people who had not escaped. The Boer War continued after the capture of the Boer cities as the Boers, led by Louis Botha, engaged in guerrilla tactics. After returning to England, Churchill wrote a book about his experiences in the Boer War and won a seat in Parliament as the MP for Oldham. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.